All right, we're just just lighting it up here. Um, it is minus five out today, so very cold. This was another one I was doing some testing on. It's trying to recirculate the exhaust. Uh, it worked, but not not like I hoped. Same burn nozzle in there, um, and I did change it. You can see the holes. I welded them holes shut right there and then I instead of four right there I made eight holes so it's got a total of 16, well 40 holes I think I have to do the math that's just some quick dirty math yeah 40 holes total quarter inch holes you can see them all there's a set there's a set there's a set then I've got the eight that go out to the side in both of these but she's taking a little while to get rolling here i'm just lighting it with oil and a few paper towels so i'll bring you back when she gets rolling should just be a couple minutes and uh we'll see if the improvements actually made any improvements see you in a bit oh of course as soon as i shut it off it started taking off <laughs> so it's about five seconds later <laughs> You can see it's starting to turn blue. It's pretty cool. And that's the light up process with cold oil at minus five Fahrenheit. It is cold today. You can see almost all the orange is gone now. A little bit lingering. But once it starts vaporizing that oil, all that orange will disappear. It should be pure blue. All right, I'll bring you back in a bit here. All right, there she is up the temp and running. I think why I'm getting that blue coming out of that hole is because I have that set of holes right there lined right up with the exit and it's igniting it outside the burner. Um, so yeah, I might put some sort of baffle in there to keep that below that hole. That way it's not shooting blue flame out the flue when I get one. But yeah, just a quick update guys. Um, like I said, it runs on a gallon of oil for about a hour, hour and a half, depending. Pretty impressive. So yeah, just a quick update guys. Wanted to let you know, and I did plug that hole. That hole will get bigger. That will be a six inch hole. Um, but there's nothing really coming out of there. I don't feel any pressure. It's still being fed with the two and a half gallon shop vac and she runs pretty clean man it does get a puff of blue out of that hole like right now i think again that's because that row of holes at the top is about even with the bottom of that hole so what it's doing is igniting it on the way out but i'll put a baffle in there to get, cure that problem or maybe move that set of holes down a little bit but you can see the nice blue flame in there. I'm pretty happy with it. All right, we're gonna do an efficiency test. Keep in mind, it's minus five, so I got rid of the funnel all together and just hooked it up and turned that valve on all the way. And it's still barely flowing, man. That oil is so thick. Minus five is uh, pretty damn cold for oil to flow through a 3 8 line, so thinking I need a bigger line. It's feeding it, but not a whole lot. So we'll see, it's about 8.30 a.m. right now. It's actually 8.39 in the morning. And uh, I'm gonna let this run and see how long it goes on three gallons is all I put in there. It's a five gallon bucket, but it was right down to where it stopped feeding. So there's three gallons from, from here to wherever. I can't even see it in there because it's, the lights messing with me. I tried putting a flashlight in there to see where the level was, but so we'll see if it keeps feeding it. Being minus five, I'm doubtful, but we shall see. So far it is. I'll get back with you when it quits burning here, whether it runs out of oil or just doesn't get enough sustain. See you in a bit. Quick update. Just got back from my haircut. It's uh, almost 11 o'clock. 
she's still going on that original three gallons man you can see the ground is all steaming you can't see the flames in there and during the day for some reason they're pretty near invisible but there's the time and uh yeah i'll bring you back when this thing stops burning it's pretty uh happy with the efficiency so far talk to you in a bit all right final update it's 12 45 and she's down to the last little bit of flame there so three gallons lasted from 8 39 this morning to about 12 45 i think it is we'll check here real time so you don't think i'm joshing you 12 49 so not too bad sorry about that guys but yeah not too bad man that's a good run <clears throat> um i'm gonna say it's pretty efficient could you run it with more oil absolutely you could definitely run it hotter but uh that was all she could do and i think it's about eight degrees right now so came up in temp about 13 degrees roughly from this morning so yeah she's just about out all right guys thanks for watching that's the efficiency test completed um that's a good run man on three gallons of oil from let's say 845 even though it was before that to 1245 so four hours on three gallons not bad for a 55 gallon drum yeah, it's starting to smoke because it's just about out, but all right, that's it. Have a great day Well, here it is guys. I got to make that hole slightly larger um, I just cut a hole for testing purposes to simulate a, a chimney <laughs> I couldn't get the kit today at tractor supply, so I might have to go to a different tractor supply But anyways, I ended up using a 3-8 steel line instead of copper Simply because I get a 25 foot roll of that for 40 bucks versus, you know, copper is ridiculous. But here's just the gravity feed. It's just a half inch ball valve, a two liter bottle top. <laughs> it's all homemade, man. This stuff shrinks just like shrink wrap when you heat it up. That thing's sealed, surprisingly. Um, but, anyways, that's how I control the oil going in. Now, I put a gallon of oil in this thing at 5 o'clock. It's now, I don't know, 6.30 or something. I can't see the time right now, but very, very efficient. And you can see, well, I hope you can see, nothing but blue flame inside that thing. I've still got to seal this up, put a cap in that, if you can see me, put a cap in that to cover that. I think what I'm going to do is cut a plate or something or maybe drill out a cap and put it in there and weld it shut uh, get it all sealed up on the lid there make this is gonna be well anyways it doesn't matter turned out pretty good man it's total blue flame top to bottom in that thing it's it's pretty amazing all right, guys, have a great night. Just wanted to update you. Take care.